You can move a column in Google Sheets simply by dragging and can convert currencies using a simple formula. But wait, there's more, so watch this video until the end where we will show you 13 Google Sheet productivity tips that everyone should use. If you have a Google Sheet with lots of rows, it can be annoying when scrolling as you can't see the column header. In this situation, you can simply freeze the top row. To do that, hover over your mouse cursor and drag this horizontal line underneath the row you want to lock. Now see what happens. If we scroll down below, it stays in place. And you can do the same with columns too by dragging the vertical gray bar. To add an extra column, you can right-click your mouse and insert one additional column to the left or right. But to add two or more columns, select the number of columns you want to add and repeat the same process. Similarly, you can also add additional rows to your Google Sheets. Instead of adding a new column, then copying all these contents and finally deleting this, you can simply drag and drop to move columns. First, select the column, then when you see this hand button appear, hold down the left mouse key and drag it wherever you want. Sometimes, you have a column or row that's too small to see. If that's the case, you can move your mouse here and when this arrow appears, double click on your mouse. But if you don't want to do it one by one, you can simply go up here and click on this box. It will select everything. Now all that's left to do is double click any column or row and Google Sheets will automatically resize everything for you. Next up, you can quickly jump around the list using the control and arrow keys together. On Mac, it's command and arrow keys. So for example, if you want to go to the bottom of this list, we can hold down the control button and press the down arrow key. But if you want to move to the right side of the list, we can hold down the control and push the right arrow. In the same way, you can also highlight things quickly. But this time, you have to hold down control and shift keys together and then select the arrow keys. Sometimes, it becomes hard to analyze a large pool of data. So what you can do is apply alternating colors to make things more distinguishable. For this, select all the areas, then from the format menu, Choose alternating colors. You can also customize it further according to your needs. In many cases, we like to keep track of what's happening in Google Sheets. And for that purpose, adding the drop down menu or checklist can be helpful. To implement this, select all the cells where you want that function and then go to data and then select data validation. Then, from criteria, select a list of items and in this box, Write down what you want in the drop-down menu. Then save it and you'll see the drop-down menu in your Google Sheet. But if you want a simple checkbox, repeat the same process, but make sure to select checkbox this time. Most of you already know that if you have a valid date anywhere in Google Sheets, you can double-click it and bring up the calendar view. But wouldn't it be great if you could make this entire column a clickable calendar view so you don't have to write down the dates manually? Well, now you can. First, select all the cells from this column, then go to data validation and choose the date from the criteria. Now, anywhere in this column you double click, it will bring up the calendar. If you're trying to copy an entire tab over another spreadsheet using copy and paste, you'll find that the formatting is far from perfect. So, the easier way to do this is from the original tab. Select copy and then click on the existing spreadsheet. From here, paste the link of the spreadsheet that you want to copy to. When it's done, you can go to the copy of the spreadsheet and as you can see, the format is exactly the same. Here's another tip related to something we all frequently do, which is to sum up a set of particular figures. For example, let's say we want to sum up all of the total costs here. So we put the equal sign first, then type sum, then select all the cells here and hit enter. But if we add other items here, it doesn't add to the total. So what we can do is come up here, remove this number and hit enter. 
Now it will count everything that we add to this column. If you're dealing with multiple currencies, you can convert them right into Google Sheets. For example, input an equal sign, reference the cell you want to convert and multiply it with Google Finance. Next, type open bracket, inverted comma, currency, colon, USD, GBP, inverted comma, close bracket and hit enter. You can also drag this down to convert other amounts. When you share a spreadsheet with others for a review, you can create a filtered view. For this, instead of selecting everything and clicking the filter button, click on a create new filter view. Give it a name and filter out the iPhones only. So now, when you share this with others, they only get to see what's important to them without digging through a bunch of data. Last but not least, when you need someone else to input data into your sheet, Instead of explaining which column and rows you need their input in, you can highlight the column and right-click the mouse button for options. From there, go to the View More Cell Actions and select Get a Link to this range. Now when you send them this link, they will be brought to the highlighted column. So, that was all about the 13 Google Sheets productivity tips everyone should use. Thanks for watching. If you found this video to be helpful, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon if you want to see more videos like this on your feed.